My name is Jerry Arai. Mr. Kawaguchi was my mother's brother, and uh, he was a truck farmer in the Seattle area. And then after the war, he truck farmed in uh, Spokane. And he farmed until he retired. But then what he did was, it was interesting, he turned his farm into a Japanese garden, a large Japanese garden. And his, he also during, it was a World's Fair in Spokane, and he and a bunch of other people did the Japanese garden at the World's Fair. So he uh, came to this country probably uh, between 1905 and 1910. And uh, they were from uh, Shizuoka Prefecture in uh, the town of Umau. Their family moved up to uh, Bellingham, where my mother was born, and she was the oldest sister, oldest of nine children. My uncle was the oldest boy. I think he had a, f a farm in Bryn Mawr, which is south here. I think it's by Burya. But there are people around here that knew the family. Because he was not in Seattle, he was in South Washington. I mean, in Seattle, they, they went to Tule Lake instead of uh, Minidoka. And then, I don't know when they moved to uh, Spokane, but they had a couple of farms in Spokane. What's well, uh, it's a picture of uh, the camp. Over here, that's the White Mountain. That's Mount Shasta, which is fairly close to uh, the lake. So he included that. But I've seen this same picture done by other artists that didn't have the Mount Shasta on it. And I'm not sure what this technique is. It's This was given to my mother, and I, I actually it was a little large, it was, but it got damaged, so it just wiped <laughs> it made it small. It was painted on the wall all the time at the family house. It was either in the kitchen or the living room. He was a very artistic, I said he did Latin, uh, Japanese landscaping, but uh, what happened was my uh, after he retired, when he was finished farming, his son lived in Magnolia, and he had a house on an arterial, so he had some pine trees, and my uncle, once a time, you know, prune them like a Japanese. And what happened was, he, other people would see it, so he did a lot of pruning in the area. And he just was, he was an amazing man. Oh, I think all his life, he just he was just naturally talented. He could do anything. It was amazing. He do, uh, uh, came to our house once for about a week and did carpentry. He made cabinets and things like that. He could just he was just a multi-talented person.